Today's video, we're going to compare the electronic focuser and the bat knock mask to see how well they perform against each other, see which one is better, and hopefully by the end of the video, we'll be able to answer the age-old question, bat knock mask or electronic focuser? All right, so now it's dark enough and we just finished our polar alignment. And um, we're gonna move over and try to do a little focus routine here. So just uh, bear with me here as we move on over to get focused. We do have lots of clouds in the way right now. So I'm not gonna get my f favorite star to focus on, but Just got to give it a second for the ASIR to do its thing. I'm not too sure we're going to be able to get that, that one in the window. We may have to try another star. Just bear with me here. The clouds are in the way. All right, well, obviously it found it. Um, sorry, just trying to deal with these clouds. We do have some, as you can see, we got clouds everywhere right now. So I'm just trying to work through these clouds. So we're just gonna try to do a quick, we will try to do a quick focus routine um, with the electronic focuser first. And we'll see how this goes with these clouds. Um, but let's just give it a shot. Let me get this um, exposure down to the right, to the right exposure here, and then then we will start our focus routine. All right. Got some, I'm going to try to work in and out of these clouds here. Okay. All right. So now that the clouds um, have subsided just a little bit, we got just a few minutes here try to squeeze these in here but we're going to try to do a focus routine an auto focus routine and here we go as you can watch along on the screen you'll hear it beeping it's trying to find the appropriate star that's there and as soon as it pops up, you'll see a little green dot pop up on the screen, representing the star that it's trying to find. There it goes. It's right there. 
So now it's trying to calculate the V-curve and detect the star size and calcu actually calculate the star size. This is a pretty awesome little routine here. It beeps and lets you know you can hear the focuser move and beep at the same time. I think that's a pretty cool little feature. Kind of lets you know it's working. but it's calculating the curve still. It takes just a minute or two to get this done. Once it figures out this V-curve and it finds the focus, it will go through and calculate the fine focus. And that's what we're after is the fine focus. Should be getting pretty close. But, uh, there we go. It's succeeded and now it's continuing to the fine focus. So it calculated the curve as you can see. And now it's getting ready to go into the fine focus. And it's doing the fine focus right now. So it'll be just another minute. I apologize for my neighbor's dogs barking. Sounds like they're having a good time out there. There we go. It says the autofocus succeeded. The focus position is 31624. So that all in all wasn't too very long of a of an autofocus. So now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna pause the video and then um we'll start it right back. Uh, I'm gonna take off um, the dew bucket or the dew shield, excuse me. I'm gonna pop on the uh, batten off mask and I will unplug the electronic focuser to see what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to check the electronic focuser um, and we'll see exactly what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the electronic focuser so it won't move and I'll put the batten off mask on and we'll see exactly how close uh, to center uh, perfect focus that batten off mask is and then we'll um, we'll have a great comparison so just uh, stand by All right, the batten off mask is on. Um, I have to unplug the focuser, so stand by here. Just let me unplug it. Okay. As you can see, device changed. All right, no worries. The batten off mask is on right now. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let this thing take a picture or two. We'll zoom in here and hopefully that, we'll see what the batten off mask looks like. Once it loads, I'll let it take one or two pictures and then stop. And then we'll slide it over and see what it looks like. All right, so it's just gonna have to take a second to load this picture. All right, so let's zoom in here real big and far in there. So it looks like, I mean, it looks pretty good and close. Um, it looks like it's a little off, maybe to the left, but it's just, maybe it's too bright. But, I mean, it looks like it's a pretty good, pretty good matchup. I like it. I think it's, the, it's pretty close. I think it's really, really close. But it's in there. It looks like maybe, maybe look at it now, maybe a little off to the left. The batten off looks like it shows us a little to the left, so then I would wanna correct it, make it to the right, and I think that's gonna mess it up. Um, 
But what I've seen so far from using the electronic focuser, what I've noticed is that the electronic focuser so far, in my opinion, it it's way better. And it tracks the focus throughout the night, whereas you'd have to put this Batonoff mask on there um, each time throughout the night to check it to see if you've got your perfect focus. But um, hope this helps. Um, I think this shows that the electronic focuser and the Batonoff mask um, are really, really close. I would have to say that uh, I would I would lean towards the electronic focuser. It gives it a more precise focus, and it will continue to keep that focus going throughout the night. And I'll uh, I'll show you those settings here in just momentarily. But let me take this Batonoff mask off. All right, the Batonoff mask is off. I'm plugging back in the electronic focuser. As you can see, got another little error message. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that the focuser is still engaged. And you can have inside here, let me adjust the screen here a little bit so you can see it a little better. Inside here, you have several adjustments, fine adjustments of 10 steps, 30 steps for course, and there's a limit. And you have a backlash setting in here. Now, I did not change any of these settings. There's a whole setup that you're supposed to run through I didn't do any of these. I got my I, I got my focus pretty close to start with with the Batonoff mask. Then I installed my electronic uh, the focuser, and then I just put these um, at recommended settings that I saw on people on 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 the internet. And I went with ten and thirty. Actually, I take that back. Um, the fine focus couldn't get there; it was set too low, so I had to change the settings and I put it at 10 and 30 and I don't have any problems now with it finds focus relatively quick I don't have any problems um, but you can go in here and you can set your autofocus you can set this thing uh, after each meridian flip you can do it before each target start you can do it after a filter change you can do it every so many hours as it says right here or you can do it at a temperature change which is really cool so I got mine set up. If, if it changes more than 3.6 degrees throughout the evening, every time that it hits that target change, it'll stop itself. It'll do a focus and then continue right back on where it was. Um, and it's, to me, it is a dream setup. Um, I'm just going to run through the uh, focus again. Actually, we don't need to run through the focus again because we already found it, but... Uh, But yeah, that's it. That's that's the um, electronic focuser versus the Batonoff mask. Um, I hope that uh, this video helps. And I'm gonna wait for these clouds to pass and see if I can't get something else uh, in in the window tonight. <laughs>